Hey everyone, Laura Furch is here, Tinkering Twins and their mom. How y'all doing today? It is a roasting 78 degrees here, Fahrenheit. Don't know what it is Celsius. I can't remember from my days in France. Um, but you will have to do your own math. I suck at math. Um, even addition, believe me. So, look at this. Here's my trailer. What a beautiful sight that is. Let me see if I can get it a little bit farther out. There we go. Alright, look at this. That yucky, yellowy, green crap. It's all over everything. It's called pine poop around here. It gets oh, on everything. Look at my car. Once was black. Now it's yellow. It, every spring, it just comes off the pine trees in just gallons and gallons of stuff. But in a couple weeks, it'll all be gone and will be summertime around here. <laughs> it's usually the sight sign that summer is on its way is the pine pollen so yep i love seeing that beautiful sight of a full trailer so off to the scrapyard let's go clouds of this pine pollen it's nuts just absolutely nuts and that's why I'm constantly doing that well I'm actually not allergic to pine pollen I'm allergic to oak pollen in fact North Carolina is one of the most allergic states in the country it's crazy but it is oh yeah and when you wash the car <clears throat> There's just rivers of yellow going down the car. It's really funny. And then you look down at the ground and it's just lakes full of pollen. I'm telling you, it's a whole phenomenon here. I don't know if they have it in other parts of the south, like Texas or whatever. But you can tell me, Ro. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, I was just thinking about stuff and I was thinking, you know, it's crazy that a list of things that YouTubers have to have, <clears throat> it's like, oh, excuse me, I have to stop at a red light. Pay attention, especially with my trailer on. Don't want to slam on the brakes. But anyway, the YouTubers have to have, like, yeah, I got my phone mount for my tripod so I've got to use that uh, coming up or I'm going to use that coming up that's awesome um, let's see but I also need a mount excuse me for um, here in the car I might I need a handheld uh, mount sometimes Oh my gosh, it just goes on and on. And, you know, of course, I'm filling my uh, garage with tools and stuff. And that's a given. I mean, I would do that regardless if I made videos. But, but just the amount of things that I have to find to do these videos. Like I say, video editing and video making, filmmaking is not my forte and I swore up and down I would never do YouTube because of it but I uh, wanted to hang out with you, all you and all my friends that I've been making all over the world so there you go that's what I'm doing um, the other thing I was thinking about is my trailer yeah, I was thinking about the things that my trailer is useful for. 
at apartment buildings are where I mostly get my stuff because I'm here in a place that has um, those automatic bars on the um, garbage can, garbage um, trucks. So the garbage cans are automatically lifted into the um, back of the truck and we have to have everything in the can. There's no stuff outside the can. Uh, stuff. And then we also, we don't have bulk pickup. And that sucks because I have no place to really go for my scrap except apartment buildings. And apartment buildings are really like a gold mine anyway because people throw out just everything there. Even the managers will throw out their appliances there instead of uh, hauling them off themselves. But anyway, uh, to go around the tree to make my point, I uh, was thinking about how my trailer would be problematic at apartment buildings. Because with my car, I can just park in a parking place and I'm, obvi I'm not obvious. I just, you know, go to the dumpster and look and see if there's anything. And then if there is, I've, you know, wrestled it and pushed and pulled and about strained myself trying to get things in my car. Or if it didn't fit, I'd go get my husband's car, but, which I'm in right now. Uh, but anyway, the whole thing with the trailer is I can't park in the parking place. Uh, I have to park right near the dumpster or just even far away from the dumpster because there's people parked in all the places uh, around it. So I don't want to park right in front of the dumpster and be totally obvious. So, it's problematic, but we'll figure it out. I figure if there's an appliance that I see, I'll go get the trailer that way and come back a little bit later and then hopefully it's not gone. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. And it's good to think with somebody that's like-minded that could maybe, you know, talk to me about it they have suggestions that they've done around dumpsters with trailers. Anyway, this is one of my thoughts. Or two of my thoughts. <laughs> I've been talking quite a long time. I don't know what I'm talking about. I hope I'm not mumbling. I notice on the video sometimes it's like, what did I just say? Because there's a couple words missing in the beginning or at the end and I'm not enunciating so uh, excuse that if you're like what did she just say I will try my best to enunciate and not say um all the time anyway I hope y'all are having a good day So we're coming into downtown Raleigh. <clears throat> Just wanted to show you the skyline here a little bit. Pretty old town, old city. I don't know if it was late 1700s or early 1800s, but um, it's pretty old. The old buildings and the new buildings.
That building right over there in the middle of the screen is my husband's building before he came, had to come home and start working from home last April. Can you believe it's been a year since all this situation started happening? It's just nuts that it's been that long. Um, and then it just seems like yesterday too. Anyway, it's just this whole situation has changed lives for sure. If you can see back there towards downtown, this is the most beautiful skyline view. Well, we're almost to the scrapyard now, so I will um Let's go, and we'll be there in a second. Here we are. It's gonna be really choppy. Sorry about all the bumps and booze. I have to get out of there quick. Alrighty. I hope you guys that green. If you can see it back there or not. There we go. Bye bye. They said they were down a crane, so he couldn't take it off my trailer. I wanted to show you guys that. Oh well. Now to get my ticket. What is the weight? Oops, went too far. Forty six eighty. All right, eight and a quarter cents a pound. Is that blurry? It's hard to see. Anyway, eight and a quarter cents a pound. Went up a tiny bit, like an eighth of a cent. <laughs> Can you do that? Um, nah, it was probably a quarter of a cent. Anyway, we have got, how much in poundage was that? Gosh, this is really blurry. Ooh, look at that, 840. I had like 700 pounds the last time I came to the yard. 840, ooh, that was awesome. So that means I got 6930, and they round down because it's below 50 cents. So I got 69 bucks. 
Too bad if it's not over the dollar, they don't round up. Oh well. Well, thank you for coming along uh, with me on my scrapyard journey. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, what do we want to do next? I don't know. I've got a lot more garage cleaning to do. And some fun tidbits that we can scrap out together. So, who knows on this channel. There's also my tinkering twins. They are just about finished with their robotics year. Uh, the competition season is wrapping up this week. And so, I'll be able to show you the robot and uh, what they did this year. I apologize for not using them more in my videos, but, um, or having them appear, but, uh, with children stuff on YouTube, I'm kind of weary about that, and also, um, I can't show you the robot until they're done with it. And Isaac's been really stressed with school, so he's not tinkering as much. Sam has also been having a hard time at school, so just all of those factors put together, just not happening. So anyway, again, have a wonderful day. Remember, always be kind. You never know what their situation is. Um, today, I had a really good day. And I hope it continues.